fucking son of a bitch. That's my whole you uh, my wife you talking about. Now I remember. I even remember your name. Is it called your jawbone? What's your name? I'm like Marcus. I'm like whatever, Shaquille. Get on the fucking wall. And they get to pat you down and shit and just abusing you and shit. And they be like, if you don't want to go to jail, you gotta eat this pussy. Yeah. Just the whole like it. Just, I, I fuck with it because you know as a black dude, all my shit about the cops is just oh. negative. Yeah. So I told Jackson on the phone like, you know, you see the cops, you be like, oh shit. Like seeing that, you get, you see the motherfucking chairs and berries, you can be like, oh shit. Shit, man. you gotta check it out, man. My girl KB. Talking about pouring they praying together about their children. Shit. Hey, how you think the baby got the? She That's a black patrol baby. She was talking about <laughs> prostitution. And she was like. All we do is sell sex. Uh, that's all TV is. Coca-Cola sells sex. Pepsi sells sex. Miller High Life sells sex. But they NBC sell the sex. friction, though. These other places sell the idea. But it's like, we'll get you all hot and bothered, but you can't buy it. Like, look at all these beer commercials, but you can't sip it. Like, if all we do is look at sex, you should be able to sell some pussy. Yeah. <laughs> they, uh... That would be nice if you could just... Ah, I'd be a manager. Hell yeah. <laughs> What? Manager for what? Like if manager. Pippin was like legal as fuck, I just you know I just dropped the bitches <laughs> off. Hey, you know you got to pay diamond. Maybe run up in the shit it, nitro. It's legal. You just got to go to Acorn. And they'll set you up with taxes, <laughs> coverage. I get a square for your shit. <laughs> go on, swipe, swipe, swipe that ass. You take cards, Amex, Diners Club. Oh, I'm taking EBT. Old school. <laughs> <laughs> like she a cook <laughs> She a chef For 20 roses She'll make you The best fried chicken You ever had <laughs> Yeah, that's Eskimo yeah, that Brothers get. Podcast, right? Huh? I said that's Eskimo Brothers Podcast, right? Yeah. We rolling Oh, we rolling? Yeah, we rolling Oh, shit yeah. We rolling And uh yeah. I might as well uh, ingest the brownie Yeah, well, hold on Yeah, hey, I was gonna say too Like, last week Kind of fucked me up Cause like, we'd be You know Bussing around, being funny, and then you ask me a serious question. My brain like couldn't change gears, and I would get all slowed up. I'm mean, still <laughs> finding our pace, man. You know, yeah. in this podcast universe, we yeah. occupy a very strange space of climb up, man. Talking it's shit, working and twerking, and uh, uh, be a chair over there. staying real, goddamn. Now we really sound like '85 South. <laughs> we just pouring drinks, uh, breaking up lunch, and I think that's just fucking head activity all around, man. Shout out to having white friends. My guy came through with the edibles, man. <laughs> I haven't had edibles since the last time I saw your ass. Well, it's like... Now that I think about it. It's hard to find the people that, that got them and got the good ones, but I got a nice little connect right now for just about anything I'm ever looking for. And so when he hit me up, I was like, let's do that two times. That's awesome, man. <laughs> like, I, uh, last time I had one of these, the chick I had with me that had one, she was like, you got to take me to the hospital. I'm like, you just hot. <laughs> <laughs> you be all right. You can sit your ass down. That's the worst people can't handle. My wife, we were, I was in LA and, uh, you know, I used to kick it with this dude that was a rep for like one of the weed companies. Mm -hmm. And he gave me this shit. It was like, you know, triple, like, <laughs> like it, was, it was like smoking Jack Daniels. Like it didn't even get you high the right way. Like it was, it, it was an insult to weed, but it got you fucked up. It My was girl, like smoking Jack Daniels. It, for real, it's like down in a bottle where you're like, this isn't what weed is supposed to do for me. This is, this is uh, too turned up. I smoked a whole blunt. My girl had like one hit the rest of the night. She was just wrapped around me. She was scared to walk. She couldn't. Yeah. She was like, I never had weed that did that to me before. We smoked one with others, man. Uh, let me tell you where to go. Yeah, shout, shout out to ESG. Shout out to work at like 9.30. Yes. Hey. No, friend, I'm be. I got to go to church. So, yes. <laughs> you supposed to be out. Within me, I'm free to be that motherfucker. Yeah. Speaking of church, Christ, Christ. Christ. last time I was there, I had the real stereotypical black moment of just a couple announcements. About seven <laughs> announcements later, like, I just really started philosophizing, like, is it wrong? Like, I feel like it fucks with you where, like, I want to motherfucking go, but y'all make me feel like it's a sin. Go away. <laughs> Like leave I've been in church Since like 9 in the morning It's like 2 in the afternoon now like. As somebody who grew up in church I'm the king of leaving When you're not supposed to leave Good thing you know, I ain't gonna feel alone When the uh, doors of the church open And that's really supposed to be For people to walk To the front and join church Gang gang As soon as I see him Slow up in uh, his little uh, Hit it in and uh, when he get on his little cadence, so I know he's about to uh, bring it home. I thought that was as soon as he get on his cadence, I'm like, all right, get my jacket. You know what I'm saying? Because you know they they hop out the cadence. The doors of the church open. 
Bam. Fush. No, they get, <laughs> get everybody on the end of their pew, and they'll be like, just one more quick thing. And you know it's about to be 30 minutes. Yeah. Of- <laughs> and I'm through. <laughs> like, but, like, uh, one more thing. You, we are building uh, the, the building fund. We, it's just the Irvin's <laughs> birthday today. Out. Yeah. Everybody <laughs> come up. Anybody had a birthday last week, please? Anybody wanna, wanna come to the front. We're going to sing happy birthday that's to funny, the birthday. Man. You said some real shit because if you haven't grown up in a Baptist setting, that's real as fuck. The pastor get a whole sermon, yeah, and then yeah. he spent the last five minutes singing it back to you. Mm-hmm. Like that. when he hit you with them. Jesus, <laughs> 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 let's, let, let's pray for Sister Mary. She's on the bereavement list. <laughs> 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 you learned all kinds of new words at church. I told her not to do that. I told her she shouldn't be going out. Yeah. I said the road is slippery, system. <laughs> you learned bereavement, vestibule. That, that's hallway. Rebuke. <laughs> Rebuke. Uh, what else? Church words. Did they just hand learned? out deaconship? No. It's like every black no, dude I like, know who's passed. You got to be a former hitter. No, it's like it's like joining a gang. Uh, all my niggas been in the face. What dad, they do is they take you in the back of the church. They fuck you up. My dad is the head. Is the <laughs> that's Illuminati. You get them mixed my up. My dad is the head deacon. <laughs> it uh they make you take a class at least they make you take, take a class. Test. Yeah. And I don't, well back when he got blessed in, he ain't had to do that. You know what I'm saying? But yeah. now, you know what I'm saying, mm-hmm. they make them take a class and whatever. They gotta get certified, you know what I'm saying? Like, what is you a crip or is you a blood? My church on Washington and killed them. For the people from Chicago, you know that's K Town, you know what type of side of town it is. I wasn't bullshit when I said all my deacons been in the feds before. Sunday school be lit, just the stories. He'd be like, back in the day, when I was gangbanging and everything, they'd be like, hey, you want to go shoot him? And I shot him, school, you man. know, but I'm, I'm changed now. See, back when I was taking shit down. He'll really tell you that. Like, so, so when I killed him, I felt bad. But, you know, I'm different now. I went to jail, changed my life. I'll be like, whoa. Mm-hmm. I've heard one, the in the collection plate around this nigga. One big difference from like the small Baptist church to the big mega churches is uh, a Baptist yeah. church. He, he yeah. will whoop your ass. It's like it's like grandpa. <laughs> he's everybody's grandpa. <laughs> like I've I've seen the pastor threaten people from the pulpit. Like, <laughs> and I'll tell you, if you touch my car one more goddamn time, you know, it's just spurn the stick. I'm. Gonna... When you see this picture, what do you think? Yeah, he looks like a sloth. I think tax refund. <laughs> It was like Sid the Sloth. Both of them were in the slow class growing up. She was in third grade with me. Oh, you know this for real? When I moved on to fourth grade, she was still in third grade. (laughs) How do you feel third Uh, grade? She also once uh, got me wrote up at work under a sexual harassment. Wow. Because... We was playing around with carts at Jewel, you know, pushing carts at each other. I guess the cart hit her and her saggy titties. <laughs> so she went and told her father that I touched her titties. So he touched my with saggy cart. titties? So you touched her it's titties on with the cart? It's on camera. Everything was on camera, and I still got rolled up because they don't play with sexual harassment. Sound so like some dick he's too slow. Ain't gonna be none of that horse he was play. over here rapping, actually. Who? Buddy? Oh, yeah, he was talking about. Hey, like, no, no, brother, no, oh, no, brother. These yeah. these mics are hot, so you're not gonna say who it is. No, I wasn't gonna say who it is. But, but this yeah. is just a sad case of relationship. Uh, MC special uh, shoes. Damn. Uh, special needs person just got damn. fired from my job the other day. I just <laughs> <laughs> What'd he do? All right, so his his da- his dad is the bread king. Fuck that. <laughs> He he supplies all the bread to you know the store or whatever, and so they hooked up the son, and you know he's he's a little he's a little special, but he looked like Matthew McConaughey. He's a handsome looking dude, mm-hmm. and he thinks he's got the key to the streets. He's he's the whitest <laughs> white dude. <laughs> <laughs> but, <laughs> he stays fucking with hood bitches, and so wait, wait wait he's special. He's special. And he keep a Section 8 bait? Oh, yes. He Damn. He's okay. smart. Go ahead. Yeah. And so, <laughs> he's got more drama. Like, uh, uh, girls will come up and fake pregnancies. And uh, so they pull him into this world. He's got two of his hoes working at the same store. Special needs. Pulling bitch slipped to right. a minute. He got so mad he punched a hole in the wall. How special are his needs? That's that uh, special strength. He got to be some type of regular, but it's just, it, right. it sneak up on you that he really retarded. He's, he's high functioning <laughs> at the low end of the pool. Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> he's on the spectrum, as they say. Yeah, he can talk, but he can't stop. God damn. <laughs> yeah. So, <laughs> speaking of, all right, what's your name, man? I'm Toys. Toys. Yeah. Welcome to the uh, Eskimo Brothers Squadcast. I'm toys. They just, made just toys. Facebook like, oh, we ain't oh, introduced yeah, no yeah, shit. Yeah, so yeah, we're yeah. a motherfucking thing. Uh, yeah, go ahead and uh, uh, let's let's do that. Let's kick this shit off. Um, yeah, it's Mike Jacks, uh, Eskimo Brothers. Yeah, we're, 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 uh, we'll keep going down the line. And again, I'm, I'm toys. What's happening, y'all? This great, eh? You know what I'm saying? My beard still won't fill in on the sides, but yeah. I'm gonna get that. It's hot, baby. <laughs> this is even motherfucking Ellis. Follow me on Twitter at Chicago Open Mike. 
uh, Mike Joyce, uh, Doyce, uh, Doily. Uh, last week you were in Vegas. Last time we Two talked weeks. to you, yeah, yeah, yeah. you couldn't find a single titty in Vegas. It was more interesting to look at than sitting in your room by yourself talking to us. I was not by myself. <laughs> oh, there was a ghost in the room. No, but we, we, <laughs> did you have a Ouija board? You were oh, on two, two long distance calls. <laughs> yes, we actually. Just, I was talking to Owen Hart on my Ouija board. Nah, stop. And he was telling oh, me about not tripping on the small stuff. You know what I'm saying? Because when it's your don't time. Don't fall for that. <laughs> Ooh, it's your time. Think. You see, we just made yeah. two Owen Hart died falling from shit jokes. <laughs> if you not smart, you can catch that. <laughs> With your dumb ass. Uh, yeah, that was mad titties. Uh, well, did he say anything back we, first off? Who, Owen Hart? Yes. Yeah, yeah he, he said, oh! Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck? He said, Hillary I'm Banks. I'm all the way down. Will you marry me? <laughs> nice. Damn. Perfect. Um, Perfect. No, nah, yeah, Vegas. That was cool, man. I wanted to make sure I'm part of this podcast, but... Now that I can barely talk, I'm going to save these words for other shit. I mean, you showed up looking like CeeLo if it didn't work out. Like CeeLo after the phone blew up? Yeah, like, like, uh, <laughs> look like Grimace if you owed Ronald 40 bucks. <clears throat> you know, you kind of look like the white CeeLo, though. No, I look like a Ninja Turtle who lost his shell. No, like no, you don't. No, no, I'm not going to let you disrespect my good friends Ninja Turtles like that. Um, they some real niggas, man. We go back a long way. You know what I'm saying? First Halloween, Ninja Turtle. Mm. Second oh, Halloween, click I was a Ninja Turtle. Mm. Third Halloween, which one? Though? I was Terminator. Fourth Halloween, I was Terminator. I didn't really have that many imaginative ideas. So you was just a Ninja Turtle. It wasn't like no. No, I, I made my own coat. Yeah, yeah, I was Reggie. <laughs> I'm Reggie the Yellow Turtle. Re- Reggie Turtle, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Reggie Turtle. You ain't piece of puffs and shit. Yeah, yeah, I ain't piece of puffs. Okay, you know what I'm saying? Uh, oh, inside out. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm a different type of turtle nigga. I ain't really fuck with all that whole stand in the sewer shit. I, I, I roam. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Wouldn't be no trench coat nigga. I had on a, uh, had a goddamn pullover starter. <laughs> okay. Official. You, you know what I'm saying? Uh, no, I had a star. You know, you they wore the trench coats around with the little mask and shit. Fuck that, man. I had on a Deion Sanders bandana. Woo! Okay. Yeah. A pullover starter, Bulls. Turtle. Woo! Goddamn, uh, the U, University of Miami. Because I was out here, man, showing love and showing out. You know what I'm <laughs> saying? The right way. I see. It. Reggie Turtle. You know what I'm saying? See, that's why when, you, when your parents have money, you get you have flavor to this shit. <laughs> So, are you saying that you're bound out then? It's, uh, yeah, man, I, I, man I'm, I, I wanted to do it, but I'm afraid that I'm going to fucking lose my voice and not talk about this real shit that we got to talk about. Man. So much fuck shit happened. It's yeah, so it's much real shit, shit happened. A lot uh, of fuck shit happened. The black world stopped uh, thanks to New Edition's uh, revival. Yeah. Am I like the only nigga that didn't watch it? It was like... Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'll take that. That's, that's a quick yes. The murder rate went down because cut. of that shit for like three Actually, days. it did. It did? <laughs> nah, Is Bobby uh, snorting on there? No. Bobby, and getting his Bobby dick got his dick sucked as a 15-year-old oh, by two on bitches. <laughs> on BT. Oh, normally BT be scared. Car hey. With cocaine. Hey, wow. watch that shit. Okay, okay. Joe. I, I was thinking there's going to be some Malia movie shit. Bobby nah. had a baby when he was 15. Yeah. As soon as that, next scene, after he had the baby in the hospital, he was in the car. Getting fucked that. up, getting yeah. head from two chicks. The right way. You know what Late what real boss the nigga. The real, the real mystery and thing I didn't understand was that Ricky Bell was on coke. Like a motherfucking dick. I thought that. he was the most regular squad. It's the 80s. Who wasn't you know on coke? Well, no, this nigga was all All my folks up. was probably yeah, snorting he, he, he had to go to AA and shit. And he got this fucked up speech on some, look, <laughs> the money is gone. Okay. <laughs> they from... are garnishing my publishing. Wait, which one is Ricky? <laughs> Ricky is uh, the light skin with Bell uh, from uh, Bell Bill DeVoe. Yeah, BBD. Oh, okay. Bell. The one that looked like a turtle mm-hmm. as well. Oh, okay. Turtles are prevalent in this podcast so far. Hey, I got a little turtle, turtle on me too. Mm-hmm. I mean, I, I, I you know. Well, I'm, I I'm just saying, so, you know, if I got these jokes here, like, you so light-skinned, I bet your DNA has a part time. Oh, you wrote them? Mm. This my fucking I've been thinking about you. Know, <laughs> you're fucking professional, I've been man. thinking about your dry knuckles all week. <laughs> That's a 9-11 joke. All right. You knuckles look like the back of Santa's boots. Looks like you go through the <laughs> go through the fireplace with spare change. Can I see the list? No, no, these are my list. It look like you get a season pass at the buffet. <laughs> okay. <You> nah. go <laughs> nah. We're gonna have to add some sound sound effects in post. <laughs> Cause a couple of these jokes have died. Let's take a moment of silence for that last joke. Heavenly Father, as we wrote out these jokes for me to fire me up today, not all of them are gonna be breakfast. Some of them are gonna win championships.
championship, other ones will be eliminated in the first round. Those last two jokes, father, they did not go over. There. <laughs> As he read them, I stopped and looked and said, what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> I hope Ian understand I am a positive black man, but I will beat a white man's ass. <laughs> In this post-Trump America, yeah, Lord, please ass let ass him know the ash my knuckles will slice his face in a buck fifty fashion. <laughs> <laughs> Lord, your father. hands look like used gyro meat. <sighs> oh, gyro right here. All right, all right, okay. Father, I need you to step in right now and show out, Lord. <laughs> this brother has came in here with the worst sweater of all time. <laughs> Top three worst sweaters I've ever seen in my life, Father. Tell when Turner had that sweater on when they met up on the Cosby Show and they had their reunion for the track team, Lord. As the same sweater. He actually looks kind of like Sinbad, Lord. What the fuck <laughs> is going on right now in this basement? I like that you don't have jokes. You this just day. have alternative fan fiction. Okay, like, did you, Lord. Did one more time. This, that did you not go over well. Every time we're going to take a pause, Lord. I'm just spectating. Every time the joke fails, we just go, stay silent. I want you to go ahead and read some more of your jokes and we'll see how well they go off. I actually, I had a special guest I want to have call in so I can show you how to call into a show since you didn't seem to know how to do it last time. Okay, call your special guest. You really calling somebody? Mm-hmm. Oh, shit. He's well, making I got sure that some of the craziest first. shit ever to tell you all about. And so he's, uh, he's, he's got parts of the story. He's got new information. Really? All right, kick off the story. <laughs> kick off the yeah. story. And then we'll patch him in. I got that buzz kick in. I'm... I'm, I'm I'm how the edge how, of my how does that feel? Hey, but the right way, huh? this my podcast is sponsored by e and really kicked in yet. Wait. The right way. Yeah, uh -huh. yeah. All right, Chris Trock from With Apologies, welcome to the, the Eskimo Brothers Squad cast. What's up, bro? Is it really appropriate to say With Apologies anymore? Because, I mean, like, unfortunately, that shit just it got the Joe Pesci and Goodfellas treatment. And now I'm just in the fucking diner, <laughs> pissed off, waiting, like, what the fuck's gonna happen next, but, anyway, hey, what's up, I'm, yeah. What's happening, brother? <laughs> Came in strong. We're not the only ones drinking, goddammit. <laughs> Quite vividly. That's what it's like now. It's, it's over. It's just done. Wait, what's over? See, they don't even know what the fuck you're talking about. <laughs> With apologies. They don't know what that is. Uh, oh, well, then why would you... Okay, okay, yeah, see, see, you guys, I don't know how well you know Ian, but Ian likes to introduce people with shit they don't know about and then blame the person. It's the only credit you have. It was that or introduce you as the dude from UPS. All right, so let me I let me. Uh, UPS. I am. I work at UPS. There you go. Chris Turk, goddamn, I like Chris. Mm -hmm. Shout out to UPS too. Slanging the shit out them boxes. Don't ask me questions. <laughs> <laughs> so let me let me introduce like the craziest shit ever happened to my dude Lane the other day. Mm -hmm. All right, Lane. He works at a Zoomies mm -hmm. at a mall in Seattle. Does he have gauges? <laughs> he's, uh, he has dark he's, glasses. Yeah, he's a skateboarder. <laughs> <laughs> there's, there's some poor tattoo decisions in his future. He has a couple <laughs> ironic tattoos and shit. Yeah. <laughs> so there's a little food court around the corner, and at the gyro station, a fight breaks out between I, a customer and the dude over the counter. Ironically. Ooh. Customer gets so mad, he reaches over, stabs the dude nine times. What? Damn. Damn. <laughs> shit. <Iconic. laughs> Over gyro arguments. He's mad about the cost of pitas or whatever. Motherfuckers stabbing yeah. niggas over gyro. I, I need some 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 <laughs> ethnic backgrounds on these people. Who was what? Hell yeah. I don't have those details. I'm just but the go. story gets better, and Shit. I guarantee you this next person is probably white. Mm -hmm. <laughs> as, the dude, as the dude gets stabbed, somebody stands up in the middle of the lunchroom there <coughs> and pulls out their gun. Oh. So now we're thinking, oh good, a hero. Oh, no, nah. this is a new player. Oh, mm -hmm. Not security. This is a second crazy person triggered by the first crazy person. So he said, "Fuck it, I'm going in." He pulled out. Goddamn, gun. My <laughs> yeah, he started waving his gun around and telling everybody to get away from him. Not just the dude with the knife. Everybody needs to back away from him now. Shit. Wow. 
crowd starts running. My dude didn't know what's going on. This is ISIS. This is terrorist. Goes to slam down the gate on his little shop. As soon as he does that, dude face dives in, breaks his fucking nose open. Uh, the gun guy? Finger splash. No, just fucking random, you know, person running away. What mall was this? It's in Seattle. Ah. Now, I went to Google mm-hmm. it, and it's not. It's the second mall stabbing they've had this year. He said they happen quite frequently. Mm. Y'all don't blame it on legal weed. They ain't got shit to do with that. It's the second who, one they had this who's year? Who's stabbing anymore? <laughs> When's the last time you know. knew somebody that was carrying a knife? Motherfuckers a scared to shoot. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's what they doing uh, in London. Black tides and Timmy's. They can't have guns. They stabbing yeah, the they fuck stabbing out, the your ass, out your ass. A, a baseball batting your ass to death. <laughs> now my first question was like, what'd you, what'd you steal? Lord, Mr. Okay. Chaos, like you know, I'm, I'm yeah, putting some in my bag. Yeah, we gotta go in these registers real quick. <laughs> <laughs> and nothing else, you get you a bucket of orange chicken. Mm-hmm. I'm going to Journeys and Snatcher, whatever display shit they got to try to flip on. <laughs> and, and you're in the heat of the moment, here. you know. All right, yeah. Chris, so fill us in on the you're details. Me and Choice are house blue flag. About the fucking chicks, please. The most important part of any story, the chinks. The Asian people? Wow. <laughs> Damn. Yeah, so we should definitely say Asian people. people. This is a confident <laughs> white man in Trump's America. <laughs> 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 the motherfucking chinks. No, I'm saying. See, I, I didn't just bring a random skinhead on the show. This dude is actually black, uh, but he's what they call passing. He's an albino oh, black. Did they call me a skinhead because I said chinks? Yeah. Right. I didn't know you guys were so uptight about that shit. Like. Um, no, we just called you a confident post-Trump American. Oh, <laughs> hey. Listen, Donald Trump's been in office for like a week now, and you guys are with the program? Yeah, he out here making shit great Shit again. already <laughs> turns up. <laughs> shit getting made great. <laughs> <laughs> People having like, a great time Making podcast guests great they again. They finna change this shit to America question mark. <laughs> hey, so wait. Wait, Chris is out by now? Yeah, here, I'll pass. Yep. Yo. Let's keep it by the mic for the listeners. part of any story is Asian. Way, have no concept <laughs> what's going on around them. It's great. Asians are so different. Well, well, let me ask you a question. Uh, so you're albino, right? <laughs> 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 no, no, I'm, I'm, no, the reason... You know, Trump lost my other job, so I had to start working at UPS. Right. What? So, let me ask you a question. Well, so UPS is a different country. A- Ajax, Ajax, yeah. he's black, but he looks like Sergeant Slaughter from GI. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. Shit. I love him more. So, hey, real quick, let me ask you a question. So, when you guys go outside and it's like sunny, do you guys like? Is it, what's what's that shit about? Like, does it like hurt you? Hurt y'all eyes or some shit like that? I heard like you guys like squint or some shit. Hey, Jax, hey. ask Chris if he gets the light skin perks. Hold on. Hey, Chris, as an albino black man, do you get the light scan perks? Like the, the Facebook likes and shit? We call the show. Uh, like yeah, this nigga really? call that nigga back. This nigga is hey, calling hey, call from back, Mars. Hey, call back because your phone's acting crazy. Hey, we'll call you my, back, my nigga. You sound a real He's Metro PCS, brother. Mars. Right. <laughs> As an albino, I will not call him a nigga no more, though. I'm sorry. Nah. He's a nigga. He just ain't got no, this. No, we're not going to be. I call his ass a nigga. You know, uh-huh. yeah. white ass nigga. What? Dance is Come blank, man. You know how sometimes. Shout out to Dennis Scott for turning up real quick. We might have to chop this up. <laughs> we may have to chop this up. 3 d was getting it. On the real. <laughs> you know how sometimes you have good ideas like. Having someone call in or yeah. writing jokes. <laughs> and then you get there and all your shit falls flat hey, on the Hey, brother, that's supposed to It's fine. We've written it's fine, this. Man. It's fine, You bought edibles. You can do no wrong. Yeah, man. you can't <laughs> do no fucking wrong. Not in my eyes, man. You know what I'm saying? It's all good. It's so, shit. should we address the, the heaping amount of fuck shit that took place this week? Where do yeah, we begin? Yeah. Since what, the last start, can we man? start from the night with this fuck shit and, like, all the Maybe we should start earlier and build up to tonight. Early tonight yeah, because we did, we did take things, a little break and shit. What's. The, um. Hell, free tax. Let me look through this. I don't got a lot to say about the open case, but free the fuck out of tax, man. Yeah, yeah free tax, man. Free tax, dog, nigga. He might have to leave that nigga away. <laughs> hey, hey, I know. Oh, what, he might have done some things. No, what I'm saying is we're all are, from an urban environment, yeah. and if your life is in danger, you're going to defend the fuck out of yourself. I don't know what happened, but mm, I'm going to say. Tax ain't have to be there, though. She ain't tax ain't no artist. He's a music promoter. Tax got in there to he's shoot. He's an A&R. No, he right. didn't. He didn't who, come to fuck out. Who are A&R for? Bobby Schmurder. No. A Boogie. No, 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 no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Young, young yeah. So what label he worked for? That's what he's A&R independent. Does. That's what he... You, you listen no. to Taxi's? he promotes music. That's not no real A&R. 
We can and, get a uh, what you I'm a regular label What's the name? <laughs> Casanova Fuck it He managed Casanova I share stuff on my Facebook I mean, shit yeah. <laughs> start. I, I share a, niggas a right now I mean, look, bro That's how most <laughs> niggas start They say, fuck it Yeah, but let's I'm not do all that I'm a regular label and the, uh, So I got a lot of respect for tax, man. Yeah, what is? All right, free I'm, tax, man. So, tax a real nigga. So, all right, I'm going through the group text. Uh, we gonna start. Okay, so free tax. Next thing that happened, Chance Brothers get thoughts. He big uh, shit, he trying to <laughs> succeed this year. That's shit. the motherfucking hey, move yeah. these days. Shout, shout out to him for being Wait, free so enough. Watch this nigga get on the Grammys. Right. That, that's Chance the rapper. His brother. His yeah, brother's his brother, also uh, an artist. Taylor. His brother. This is yeah. his brother. He looks just like him. Well, right? he's the choir director because Chance is always on that church stuff. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, that was good. <laughs> so, uh, shout out to him for being strong enough to come out as yeah. uh, as bisexual. Can you be I'm saying his skin that makes you gay. McConan came out as gay, yeah. and duh, duh. nigga, who was the brain? He come out. Been shit. known that. <laughs> <laughs> what else you gonna tell me? <laughs> Reggie White died. Water wet. Shit. Goddamn, Michael Jackson was right. killed. All right. Uh, following that in the group text, uh, Reggie. I'm sorry. Jerry Rice has a chicken. Uh, Ah oh, yeah, ah oh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> He's back. I saw him just like a demon. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. <laughs> He's saving some chicken for Popeyes, Chris. Hey. Why, why, why is everyone shit on Jerry Rice now? Like, like, so what? Yo, I would fuck. I'll do a Popeyes commercial right now. I can't. I have never caught a touchdown pass. But I'm <laughs> like, that, that's the thing. Like, I, I'm more concerned with you know. Jerry Rice being a bit overrated than doing a pop Ooh, let's get into that. Let's get into that. Who, let, me get your, let me get your top three. Let me get your top three wide receivers all time. Shannon Sharp. Top three wide receivers all time. Okay. Uh, Raiders, Raiders, Raiders. wide receiver I can't even say his name. Uh, Randy Moss. That's so what I was saying. Yeah. 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 I knew he was going to say that. He was all born around all the right, same number time. Number two. I'm going to go with. Drill. The Cliff Branch. Damn! I right, three. Yeah. Damn. And then I probably go uh, Jeremy. I, Actually, no, no, but I'm I mean, that's fucked another, up. You said I'm he's overrated, but he's still in your top three. Raider. I'm gonna go with Fred Bolitnikov. That's a tight end. That's a tight end, right? I mean, he catch. Yeah, he catch. Wide receiver. Um, I thought Bolitnikov was a uh, tight end. Um, I'm gonna put Jerry Rice in my top three. It would be uh, Jerry, Randy. And uh, T.O. Mm. Oh, fuck. Okay. All right. Ian, can I just hang up now? What happened? <laughs> <laughs> no. If you want to uh, go with T.O. numbers to against the rest of these dudes' I'll, numbers. I'll put Wes Walker ahead of Terrell Owens. Yeah, how about that? There you go. Mm. Hold on. We need another moment of silence. Hey, you need to justify mm. it. You yeah, tell me tell me why Wes Walker is a better receiver than T.O. Because he didn't destroy teams. He didn't cry. Mm-hmm. Okay, the but did, who he caught really more... Who caught more yeah, receptions and touchdowns? His ass ain't come across the middle like T.O. He called Jeff Garcia a homo, so I will give him props for that. <laughs> yeah, fuck Jeff Garcia. I mean, and Keith Sweat. I guess I, I should have I I I I properly <laughs> introduced Chris is what you call a hater. Okay. A through and through. <laughs> yes, you right. But uh, T.O. is better than Wes Welker. But I'm, I'm glad you uh, articulated that point so well. I respect that. <laughs> you know, that, 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 <laughs> that's perfect. That's an interesting point, but that's can you perfect. see your reflection in the mirror? Like, if we did a Popeyes commercial for you, would you show up on film? Yeah, <laughs> Like I'm Blade. Like I'm we a fucking daywalker. Okay. We call this shit an interview with a vampire. <laughs> <laughs> Let me say this. I, I'm just saying, Jerry Rice, like, he's a Hall of Famer, so, you know, he got Hall of Fame money, so maybe he shouldn't be doing the pop ice T.O. definitely needs to be doing the There's a lot of players in the NFL. Warren Sapp definitely needs to do a pop ice commercial. Hell yeah, he should do a pop ice commercial. Hey, he reporting, uh, Live next to uh, fucking the niggas on Cheers. <laughs> he's, he's sitting there, yeah, fuck it, man. Hey, didn't didn't Warren Sapp have a coke case? Yeah, coke case. Yeah, yeah, air prostitution. Air prostitution. That's a real nigga. He turned. Wilson Brimley commercial. I, 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 <laughs> Chris, uh, 
<clears throat> I'm gonna give you one more fuck shit and I'm gonna let you go just cause it, it kinda fucks up the flow. So what's what's the next fuck shit? I'm fucking up the flow, Ian. I fuck up the flow. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I mean you're like blood clots in a period. Like it looks the same, but it doesn't flow the same. That was good. <laughs> I fuck up the flow. The guy the guy that's fucking I put it in blood terms so you'd understand it. That was nice. Okay, fine. Oh, the guy that's He's fucking on fire. Oh, man, because he got he was depressed and he was divorced. The guy that sucked the dick and I fucked up the flow. Who sucked the dick? Who sucked the dick? Where'd that come from? Oh shit. This miss ass shit. Oh shit. Oh, shit. Has the wood I don't know, I just, figured I'd, I just figured I'd go off on here. See, you was going off on me, so I figured you I'd go off on me. You ain't on dick, ain't you? I hope you ain't on dick. No, yeah. Hey, One hey, time. I ain't got nothing to do with it. That's what you had friends. That's confidence. You, oh, never, you, suck, you suck one dick. They never let you leave it down. You know? Hey, man, that's why I know you from. They used to call you Jawbone. You gonna, you gonna bring up that real time I suck your dick, man. I call him trying to put him on. He gonna bring up my one flaw. <laughs> I didn't want to say to him, hey, just just don't bring that up. Because I knew that would be, cause I knew this would be the first thing he fucking brought up. So, so let me ask you. <laughs> shit, shit, fuck yeah. it. Hey, let's run with it. Uh, so did you use... He yeah. called him back. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, Tell me more about that. Thank you, Chris. Chris. Thank you for uh, so, destroying my life. Technically, uh, so Ian, did you use both hands? <laughs> <laughs> I don't, I don't remember, nor do I care to. Okay, well, shit, hey. We just gonna say he choked up on the back. Here's my, here's why I'm gonna take this beating, okay? Uh, first of all, because I did it. Uh, <laughs> oh! Hey, it's, it's real in these streets. No! It's real in these, you didn't, you weren't ready for this part of the episode. Damn! This, this is confidence. I might not be invited back. Now we're in the awkward hey. room. I don't know if he's going to suck But dick here's the not. thing. All right, so. Sucking dick does not mean that you get kicked off the escrow, bros. We just. <laughs> you just we don't. Just, ooh, right? Ooh. So, I was like, I was like, shout out to gay people because, God damn it, they yep. do this for fun. No. Like, <laughs> this is, this is their Saturday nights. <laughs> So yeah, I realized I was like, I but, and do. here's my other takeaway from it. If you're like, if you're like, being gay is not a choice. Try and choose to suck a dick. You'll realize you're not gay real quick. <laughs> you're like, oh no, right, I, could, right, I couldn't choose out. this. Time out. I need point A of this dick sucking story. Uh, can, before we get off into this, can I ask you one question? My, are you getting off on it? Hey, <laughs> should I talk a little slower? Hold on, one second. Let me see. Uh, before I roll my pants down. <laughs> <laughs> can somebody pass me a clean action? Real quick. Hey, hey uh, Chris, my albino homie that I just met. Um, check it. So I got one more albino uh, question, C's. right? On the sunblock side of shit. So yeah, on the sunblock side of shit. When you when you hop in the like when you when you get ready like like hop in like some hot ass water. How many umbrellas does do you it, own? Does it really fucking burn or not? Yeah, it does burn, man. My skin, it, it's fucked up. My skin's all pink and it comes to the surface, man. It goes, Damn. And it goes right back in. Y'all niggas got a charity? Y'all niggas got a charity. <laughs> is, is, there a, is there a wristband and does it glow in the dark? The, the genuine interest in Jack's face right now. Yeah, you want to help? I'm really willing to hold like a like a like an event for all of my albino brothers and sisters, man. I mean, right. that's the least of what's wrong with him. He's got high blood pressure, diabetes, a lazy eye. <laughs> He's a Damn, hoarder. You, got a lazy eye too, Chris? you a real nigga? He doesn't know how to leave the house. He's scared hey, of people. Hey, you know who else has a lazy eye and has has actually redeemed success? Fucking Forrest Whitaker. Mm-hmm. Okay. So I mean I'm not gonna hate on lazy eyes. As a matter of fact, my eye kind of lazy. He was a. He doesn't like to get up work in the morning. <laughs> um, he played well. I would, I would Did you ever play the Empire? Four twenty. I would just just cause I want to be in Street Kings. Like I watch that movie and I go, I would do anything. To That's my movie, man. Right? <laughs> Successful though. <laughs> Successful as fuck. But but look, let us not stray away from the point. And what the fuck did y'all do? How it happened? <laughs> what the fuck happened? It, it was a, a low point in my life. Yeah, okay. uh, part of the reason I realized I had to quit drinking for a while. He made you feel special. Truthful. So, listen, after months, I couldn't get no pussy. All right. right. I was lonely. These are the stories people telling the air, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's it's exactly like I just want you to know, Chris ain't a friend because he busted this shit out with no reveal. No regard. Fuck if they know. Because he works at UPS. He doesn't care if my life is fucked. It's just, <laughs> Which is, <laughs> he's, he's still gonna move boxes. It doesn't matter if I win or not. Agreeable. Which is why I like him. This is why, because he's real. Mm. So anyway, 
I'm axed out. All right, the full story is even more convoluted. Uh, I was trying to get, uh, you know, uh, a hoe from my friend. I was like, hey, you got any bust downs? Like, let me go through your phone. How the hell you end up sucking dick if you... Boy, hey, I'm just letting the story in real. Yeah, I'm letting it I'm sorry. Go ahead. So, <laughs> so we're, we're talking to this girl, and she's like, give me a dick pic. And I was like, I ain't got a dick pic. And then he's like, oh, my gay friend is texting me. I was like, give me your phone. I started flirting with the gay dude to try and get a dick pic so I could send it to this bitch so I could go bust it down. Why did you need to? Why did you need to outsource the dick pic? I, I should have just. Go, this was. Uh, he was drunk. You just got. Yeah, this is before the. Uh, yeah, that too. But this is before like I could have just pulled it up on my phone. Like uh, still have flip phones. And shit. Oh, okay. So anyway, uh, gay dude uh, starts talking to me. He's like, "Hey man, how about how about you just come over? You know, I'll smoke you up and, and uh, suck your dick." And I was oh, like, God. <laughs> I was like, you know what? I haven't had my dick sucked in a long goddamn time. I'm gonna close my eyes and get through this. <laughs> <laughs> and so oh, I did. <laughs> And so Shit. I did that, but I'm not a selfish man. I'm not a selfish lover. Wow. And so I was like, let me <laughs> let me return the favor and then realize it it, it was a terrible idea. Damn. But I still yeah, did so it. And I, you're so benevolent, Ian. Yeah, you're so benevolent. Hey, you're, 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 you're the benevolent queer. <laughs> I'm going to say he is not gayer than anybody because he tried it and it wasn't for him. Yeah. He there knows. I mean, it's like saying, hey, nigga, I tried heroin, but I'm not no fucking heroin hey, addict. I don't like eggs. You know how I know that? Yeah. Because you like, tried, tried it. it. <laughs> Speak so. that shit right now. <laughs> God, so. God bless you if you don't have to try it. So you're, and, not, you're not gay. you alternative gay. I, I have an alternative lifestyle. Oh, alternative These are facts. alternative That's facts. That's all it is. Okay. <laughs> Oh, about Ian. I don't, I don't know if you guys know, but Ian, I mean, he did some gay shit. And then he I'm did sucking a dick right now. Right <laughs> 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 Shout out to Chris, the worst fucking co-defendant in the history of the universe. Yeah, he shot the nigga. <laughs> don't, don't ever fucking testify real. on my behalf, you piece niggas, of shit. Niggas will go to jail because you, Chris. That's <laughs> fucked up. You never heard no... <laughs> There's no Smart. no snitching with your ass. He decided of you course fine. I'm fine. If you hate me, Shit. it's a fucking hate crime. Well, I'll be I'm gay in a minute. This. I got a, a network I'm special out of this. Go ahead and protest me. <laughs> hey, you got you got don't tell my wife. But protest him out Hey, you, wait, 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 you're breaking up. Call back one more time, because oh, I have shit. one more thing I want to ask He got the last Obama phone. Like, <laughs> yeah, he got the last Obama phone. He a bitch. Jimmy Butler had three points. Jimmy Butler bitch for that too, man. Hey, hey, Jimmy Butler, man, let me talk to you. Address this nigga, please. Personally. Scrub brush to scrub brush. Let James, let me talk to you. Uh, I can call you James, right? Uh, you don't get on TV and talk all that shit that you talk. No, no. Two evenings ago, after your forty-point performance, and follow that performance up with a shoot around where you say, "I like controversy. This is going to work for me." And your monkey ass come out here and score three points like a bitch. Take yourself out the game when you get your second foul in the second quarter when the coach wasn't going to take you out. And we ain't we ain't forget about that video. Your coach telling you to call a timeout. And you say, "Fuck no." Um, <laughs> you you, sh- you ship Derrick Rose out of here. I'm not mad about shipping Joe Kim no out here because he's over. Um, you get Thibodeau out of here. To get Hoiberg, and then you told Hoiberg, you cut his nuts off last year saying he needs to coach y'all harder. Cut his nuts, nuts off. off. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, Jesse Jackson did say that, didn't he? I yeah. cut his nuts off. I cut off cut. his dick. What did he say? Cut his oh, nuts cut. off. I cut his nuts off. You, you talking free. about Obama, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah. So I cut that nigga nuts off. Anyway, uh, James, uh, here's what I'm going to need you to do. Uh, get traded. Um... I need you to walk into the office on Monday and say, hey, you know what? This ain't working for me. We need that 2K moment. I need you to trade yourself to the Boston Celtics and some type of package that will return me the lottery pick that they have from the Nets, uh, Marcus Smart, uh, Jalen Brown, maybe another pick. I'll take Brown. Um, you go and do that. No, we ain't going to need that. Defense? Um, yeah. No, we no, we don't need that because you don't want to bring too much salary back. Um, so yeah, uh, it's not fuck you yet, Jimmy. I'm sorry, James, because you're not gonna be Jimmy until you score more than three points. Uh, James, uh, it's not fuck you yet, but it's getting real goddamn close to fuck you, uh, James. It's been fuck you on Gray's side ever since Rose left. Well, well, Gray got some got some animosity for you. I don't I don't got for you yet. I just think smoke if you, his ass, Gray. Tell there, him what's on your there, heart. There are superstars and there are alternative <laughs> superstars, James. 
and you seem to be an alternative superstar. Hold on. I see Greg in the... Go ahead. Oh, Go ahead. I, 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 what's I, on your fucking heart? Greg, like, Greg, before you talk this shit, are you going to be able to score four points? Because uh, if you're only going to score three, don't... don't. Hey, you know what? <laughs> <laughs> Bitch, I might drop 40. I don't, don't want to hit. 45. In a, in, a, in a good game, in a good game, we talking one-on-one against Jimmy? No. Fuck it. Bitch, I might oh, drop 30. Four, 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 ten niggas? Yeah. Nah, I'm sorry. We talking about the half court. I'm saying, how, how much you... Uh, uh. Bitch, I might drop 30. Okay. Mm. 35. Go ahead and make point. Go ahead, we, we ain't gonna put you out there like that. No, a whole lot of niggas, that's more than a lot. Yeah, but, <laughs> hey, go ahead and make your point, and then I'm gonna do my uh, foot fetish for the week. Oh, okay. I might, I might hop in on the next foot one. Foot fetish for the week. Hey, don't, 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 don't suppress him. Go ahead, he got some good shit going on. But nah, fucking Jimmy, I just ain't fuck with the way, like, I feel like he smiled in public. Yeah, and then did a lot of sneaky shit behind yeah, the back behind to get everybody back. fired. Yeah. And now he bitch about like nobody wants to win. You yeah. traded the two motherfuckers that gave a fuck about winning. Yeah, yeah. Snake and then the to James. throw a game, you a fuck nigga. We right. in the eighth spot. We need every win we can get. And you decide to just go out there and throw this a is, game to be a bitch. This is not, hey, what's New York record? It's, it's not that much. It's bro. not that good. Um, but okay. they had just got on stretch. They lost nine out of ten. But um, here's shit. the deal with James. James, this isn't the first time you've quit, James. There was a, <laughs> uh, a game against Cleveland last year where you wanted to be the superstar, so Derek just kept passing you the ball, and you caused him to quit, and we got put out the playoffs without a fight, James. Uh, <laughs> we, James, what I what I need, you, I, I'm a life royal. We, I'm a life, I'm a lifelong Bulls fan, James. James, uh, can I let you know you a pussy? I, I I wear Jordans pretty often, and you are an ambassador of the brand, James. Ah. And um, I think that I'm gonna have to step off to K Swiss Classics if you continue <laughs> oh. to do this. James. You see that? You didn't make my homie uh, leave for gonna, the thought shoes. You're gonna take me all the way down to the auntie shoes. Oh James. God. This is what's going to happen right now, James. Uh, I almost opened up some Crown Royal and drank it the other evening. <laughs> wow. Fucking with you, James. Um, I don't even drink. He has 30 days sober. I don't even drink, James. And that, that's what you calls me. So, uh, like I said, it's not fuck you yet. <laughs> but it's real goddamn close exactly. to fuck you, James. So, um, hopefully... Tomorrow evening, MB don't put two dicks inside of you, James. Oh, he he's, will. So he's African. <laughs> so this is possible. Dick! Okay. Uh, <laughs> I put some dick in you. Dick! So I, you I don't want MB and uh, Proviso West on Robert Covington mm. to go. He did go to West. He put, West? Yes. Yeah. And put dicks I on I was like, oh, um, yeah, he fuck with James, uh, you're playing the Sixers tomorrow, dog. <laughs> Let's go ahead and try to become Jimmy again. If there is another night. Well, you know what, James? I almost guarantee T you going to get off tomorrow. Because that's what you do. You get off when it don't fucking matter, James. And then when it do matter, James, you seem to go to sleep. Yeah. Uh, Dwayne Wade old, I guess. That's happened. So <laughs> His name is fucked. That's what that is. But the, the quiet is kept. Dwayne Wade is averaging 19 points a game Dwayne in Wade plays his ass off. He's I'm averaging sorry. he averaging nineteen a game in thirty minutes. And, and he wasn't uh, no bitch about it. And he's 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 going for thirty multiple occasions this time this year too. Yeah. But James, you man, you you you're pretty young, James. And you said that you the man, James. And you got that max contract, James. Uh yeah. you just gonna take a hundred million dollars from Chicago and James, you? this is the most hurt I felt I behind a James since James died since on good times. Since, since, since James Damn. Avery Damn. died in real life. Since I heard King James wasn't a good translation. Did he die? Yeah. Uncle Phil been dead. Oh, James Avery. Okay, I thought you were talking about. No. So James on Good Times died too. He did. Show. Oh, I thought you meant home. like in real life. James, this is pain. Yeah, he died and went to open up in Dallas. Facts. <laughs> <laughs> Confirmed. He died, and on the third day, rose to create McDowell. <laughs> Just to let niggas know, let the fuck niggas know he ain't about that fuck shit. Mm -hmm. Now, hey, can I continue to do my? Yeah, yeah, James, it ain't fuck you yet, but it's we real goddamn close. Yeah. Hey, I'm you. not gonna I'm say gonna, fuck, gonna, fuck you yet. Let me play some music for you. Uh, for oh, yeah. Some yeah, play real, some. Hey, some I need romantic. something sexy. Okay, this is gonna be super sexy. <laughs> play never more than dance again. We need some BBD. No, it's gonna be. But no, I got something sexier than that. This is Jack's foot fetish. Look, at, look how mm, look how God works. Damn. But uh, let me go ahead and get some that's yeah, give me foot something. fetish sexy for you. Now are we going Instagram, uh, internet? Oh, all I'm gonna get a, I get an Instagram and everything. All right. Yeah, well, I got 
Wait, this is somebody's real. I gotta feet. know where these feet yes. are coming from. You know, okay. feet don't fall. Out I wasn't sky. here for this last time. No, this could, be, this could be a Gap commercial with some wonderful toes. Hold on, hold on. It's about sweaters, but did you see the girl in the blue one? Yeah, she had groovy, gorgeous little baby groovy, toes. You know, I missed all that, and I was missing out. Hold on. Most girls I know don't have good feet. Uh, like it's rare. Uh, that's the problem. See, once you get one, you that's all you fuck with. The girls I know with cute toes always have toe rings. Yes. Yeah, so they, they want, want you to look. They want some they want shit you to sparkle. Why the fuck they got them toes like that, man? They, they the, the, the toe ring is a <laughs> is a is jury, nigga. <laughs> shit. About these toes. Ah. <laughs> I wish I had a little bit something smoother, but uh, uh can, can we turn Kodak down just a tad bit? Just a tad bit. Just a tad bit. Thank you. Choo choo, choo choo. Think about these toes, dog. Man. <laughs> Hold on one second. No, 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 no. What was that? Well, I like, I like. I also play Curtis Bayfield. So, oh shit. Okay, yeah. We sound like a junior high prom. Goddamn. You know, this is grab your lady and your seven up. See, just in time, just in fucking time. <laughs> I just want to say, uh, can we turn it down just a tad bit? Just a tad bit, cause I'm really trying. To, yeah. I just want to say, Angel, you're beautiful. Let me tell you, uh. Instagram angel foot goddess. Okay, okay. She's so righteous. beautiful, man. She's so beautiful. Let me tell you, um, as a real nigga, you know what I'm saying? All I would like to do is just thank her. Not just for her likeness, but the fact that I would take my gavel and pound it Ooh. into her. <laughs> I would let her know that, goddammit, them feet that you walk to work... And I can tell, baby, because I've been I've been following your ass. You work at Pinkies. I know. I know. Mm. You travel. Mm-hmm. You're beautiful. Leg up and all. I would just like to say, um, and you're a Wu-Tang Clan fan, baby. She mm. does look like the bitch from Thunder Cats. Hey, hey, she's beautiful. She's beautiful. Can I, hey, hey. She looks like she's cleaning her. Is that a Batman t-shirt? I'm already knowing. That's a delicious style. I would just like to say, no, 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 my brother, no. You ain't gonna say she's a thot. You say she's no, not, not a thot. Not a thot. I'm oh. saying put some hot sauce oh, oh, on it. Okay, 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 <laughs> yes. Because if you do put hot sauce on it, that motherfucker tasty. Like and guess what? Wing. Just to go back, goddammit, I see where Jerry Rice went, goddammit. He had her in mind. <laughs> I bite the fuck out the thighs. You go, Angel. Listen, listen. This song for you, baby. Mm, mm. Toys, you should solo yourself. I like it. I love it. And um, I would just like to say, sucking on your toes will give me grace. <laughs> sucking on your toes will motherfucking let me know, goddammit, I'm the man in the motherfucking place. Uh, everybody, do me a favor. Two snaps from everybody right now. Like go. a motherfucker. You feel me? At Angel, IG. Right. Mm. I Angel toes foot. taste like juicy fruits. They do. This I little piggy went to my mouth. Hey, at Angel the foot right goddess. Hey. At Angel the Foot Guy is on IG. Mm, you go, girl. So this foot thing is a new thing? No, it's just... Uh, what I mean, you been about feet? You been, oh, been about feet. Yeah. You didn't know you in the yeah, wrong spot. We ain't, you like feet, too? The real shit, the, the moment me and Josh got cool. I like pussy. We was talking about... <laughs> <I> mean, <laughs> you cool. That's part pussy of the bitch, right? Pussy awesome, but that's, that's been there, though. Many years ago. Pussy man, been there. Many moves ago. The moment me and Josh got cool, we was <laughs> talking about some shit. We was down here, we was just like some rap buddies and shit. And we was talking yeah. about some shit like, you seen that bitch toes? And we looked at each other, he's like, nigga. We, like, <laughs> we the same kind of creep. So, so this is that yeah, environment, yeah. bro. You know, so I mean, it's just, hey, hey, that's I, been a thing. See that, that, that fucking, yeah, that Jay Wright right shit was real. And James, before we get out of here, man. Oh, get, to get to him, uh, get to him, get to him. James, I need you to do better. Dog. Smoke his ass. Uh, I'm with you on that. I'm James, you're gonna have to get more consistent. Your mouth is yes. writing checks that your game. You know, he was more humble. Mm. He was more humble before the scrub break. Mm. That, was, that was fake humble. Like most of mm. us. You heard that? The scrub bring the shit out. Yeah. The they, scrub, get the, they get the feeling wait they wait you know a minute. What I'm are you going you not gonna sit here and disrespect no, the breath? It's not the scrub because I'm, 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 I'm a form of scrub brother. And y'all both get slightly legit. more light skinned when you get to the scrub brush around scrub. How the selfie game go up? Y'all nigga, the selfie game go up a little Hey, I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie. Look at the motherfucking pick for the motherfucking Eskimo brothers. What I'm telling you, that's what the scrub do. I cut my shit off and I you know I still kept and preserved my safe. Yeah, we got the Duke starting lineup haircut. Damn, you can't play for Duke hey, unless you hey, got the fucking hey. Speaking sponge. of Duke, hold on, speaking of you Duke, You have two though, games to win us back. If we go old school Duke, 
Nino got that motherfucking Carlos Boozer, boy. That okay. beard. All right, boy, guys. Yeah. We out of here. Mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> Shout out to Nino. He's going to be on the next episode. Nino's that Yeah. Check out the mixtape volume five. That shit's dope. Remember I'm, Mystical Adlib? I don't even remember that shit. Oh, All I remember was when he came out of jail, that nigga was like, but you like my barbecue! <laughs> <laughs>